hippopotamus. And now I'm younger Miss Ray. I'm going to read When I Woke Up, I Was a Hippopotamus. When I woke up, I was a hippopotamus. Yawning in the morning, I raised up my sleepy head, then took one look out the window and got straight back into bed. Get up, said Mom, or you'll be late. But hippos in their sludge. Don't get up till morning, and so I didn't budge. At breakfast, I was a robot. My tummy wasn't hungry. I wasn't programmed how to eat. Um, my mouth was made of metal, like my nose and knees and feet. Quick, quick, said Dad. Come on, eat up. We've really got to go to school. But robots can't eat cornflakes. Dad's words did not compute. When it was time to go to school, I was a statue. I couldn't move a muscle. I couldn't blink an eye. I couldn't lift a finger. I couldn't breathe a sigh. Dad pushed them, pulled. Mom, pu Mom pulled them, pushed. They heaved with all their might. But my legs were made of granite, and my feet were stuck down tight. When I got to school, I was a monkey. I couldn't sit and listen. My work was rather slack. Then the teacher scolded me and made me sit in back. When it was playtime, I was a monster. The girls all screamed, the boys all ran. My mouth went munchy crunch. Then the teacher scolded me again, so I had her for my lunch. When it was time to go home, I was a rocket ship. I zoomed out of orbit. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. I was nearly reaching light speed. Poor old dad, he had to run. My pistons pumped, my jetpacks pump, jumped, all full of super fuel. I had to get to planet home and far away from planet school. I was in my bedroom. I was a giant. My hands were huge as houses. My beard was big and blue. I was hunting for a human to put in my human stew. I was crashing around my bedroom. Well, that's just how giants play. We're big and loud and noisy. We don't know any other way. But mom and dad weren't happy and they all yelled out, keep it down. But my giant feet were busy as they crushed a tiny town. That's it, yelled Mom and Dad. You're louder than ten boys. And they stomped upstairs to scold me for making so much noise. When Mom and Dad came in, they were dragons. Rawr! They snarled and growled and stamped and howled and nearly broke the door. Their wings caught in the curtains and their tails scratched on the floor. Dad blew a giant smoke ring with an angry, rumbling cough. Mom wagged a scaly finger until I thought it would fall off. I stared up at my mom and dad, and I didn't feel so brave. I wasn't. I was having fun pretending. I didn't mean to misbehave. Of all the wondrous things, said Mom, that you pretend to be, why can't you be a nice thing? So I pretended I was... Me! We had a lovely evening. I helped my dad with tea. Then I read my mom the story as I sat upon her knee. At that time we played pirates and plotted pirate schemes. Then I snuggled in my blanket and dreamed amazing dreams. Good night. And now Miss Saray will miraculously appear. I'm back. See you tomorrow, guys.